Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card is using the new Daisy Lane um, stamp set and punch, which is here. And this is quite a bit smaller than the original Daisy Punch. So I'll be using that. And this is the Daisy Lane stamp set. And all we're actually going to use is that fern out of this. I'm not using the stamp sets today, on this card anyway. I'm also going to use this birch background stamp and I'm also using postcard pals for sending you birthday wishes for the sentiment. Right, This card actually reminds me of when you go for a walk in the country, in the country lanes. See patches of grass with little daisies sticking up. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. And the mud all around. Right, these leaves I've already cut out and I cut them from Botanical Blooms dies. The very first dies I got from Stamping Up. So I cut six of them. Hang on got more tangled up with some little buds are done so I cut six of them in old olive and I also cut some of these little green buddy things from my own stash which I will pull apart and put under there so to get started your card we've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. You've got a piece of old olive at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. A piece of white at five and a half by three and three quarters. A piece of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside. A scrap of white for to punch out six daisies and a scrap of white for the sentiment so to get started we'll do the background first so bring in our birch stamp and with soft suede we ink this up Here ready. Right, I'll place that on and rub it over and lift it off. And there's our, and I want a little bit just there. That's it. That's our background. And then wipe off the ink. I just want to scrap of paper. You see what I have to pick up off the floor after we finish filming. Disgusting. So that goes back in the box. And that is that. We'll finish with this. Right, I'll bring out Odd Olive next. And with this, we get our fern and we ink and I'm not doing it all because it'll just end up in a mess in the middle so I am cutting out the two bottom leaves and I'm just inking up like this missing out the two bottom leaves and I will place that at the top and I'll 
place this one at the top and then I'll stamp off. Press it to the side, stamp off. Press it to the side, stamp off. And then just going around like that in a circle. And all this is doing is adding depth. Depth, yeah, depth to our image because you might see it, you might not. Stamp clean. Now it's that finished. Put that to one side. Now, with our daisy punch, we want six of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Quite stiff that. Now with three of them, I've got the three, I need my bit of paper for this. Right, I only want the centre yellow. Now the daubers and sponges are all too big. So what I did, got my so on ink and got a finger and then just dabbed it in the middle. There you are, and just wipe my finger off. Easier to do that than to do it with um, a brush and whatnot, trying to get it all done. Right, for the sentiment, I use black. And I just, I'm going to stamp it there and punch it out with a classic label punch. That'll do it. Punch and right, but I'm not happy with that. Let's do it again. Do on this bit. I've got enough room. I bet I haven't got enough room on here. Ooh. I did have. to start sticking things together so there's a plain one and a coloured one we want to offset each petal so that there's no gaps it does work I can assure you there's one Let's 
three. Let not sit them on top of one another. Right. Let's get this stuck on to the base before I go sticking any more down. to the base of the card. Stick the inside bit in. These pieces I have. There's a good side to them and a bad side to them. Now I try and stick these on the bits that were stamped off. So they're like that. Let's get sticking them down. Just put a little bit of glue on the bottom of each one. Enough to hold it down. Then these, what I did was broke them off because I don't need them all and sat one either side of the wrong way around. of the ferns just to give different textures of leaves and greenery that's all it is So, let's glue these down. And you need a little bit of glue on them to hold them down. Lucky enough, this glue dries clear.
And then with our flowers, we hook one there, one there, and one in the middle. Need to come down a little bit. that is that that this one hasn't got any up here and I haven't got none ah. I'm gonna glue this little tiny bit And yeah, so let's stick this one down. And then stick this one down. And stick so don't need that. All we need now is just put this on here and I did use dimensionals so let's get our minis out Place that just under that petal. Oh, yeah, like that. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell button, You'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.